Okay, my, my name is Panu Ari. I'm uh, the director of uh, the Curse Land. So, uh, Curse Land is my first uh, feature link, uh, feature length uh, movie. And uh, before that, I uh, made uh, a documentary. And, and, and uh, uh, the, most of the documentary I made, it deal with uh, Islamic uh, culture in Thailand. And as you know that Thailand is the Buddhist nominated country. I mean that uh, uh, Muslim is, uh, Islam is, is uh, you know, Muslim identity in Thailand. So that's why most of the early film uh, are documentaries and I made uh, them with my uh, uh, friend, uh, his name is Kong Riddhi. So that's why uh, after we have made documentary for many years, we decided to change to the more interesting subject and more interesting to like a feature film. So that's why we came up with the idea to make uh, Curse Land. Mm. So uh, how was the transition? From documentary to fiction, then was it's, it difficult or? No, no, it's, it's, it's not that difficult because uh, both of us uh, we we love movie. Uh, Kong Ritdi, uh, he uh, used to be uh, a, a movie critic for the, the uh, a newspaper called uh, Bangkok Post. So I and him uh, love for watching movie, especially the horror film. So that's why we think that uh, you know. Uh, if we are going to make the first feature film, we would like to make a commercial film and horror is something which, uh, you know, uh, people will be very interested and in, uh, it's easy for general people to access to this kind of story. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's not too difficult to try uh, to, 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 to change the style to, to feature film. Okay, okay. Uh, but, but why horror? Yeah, because, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, for, 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 for Thailand, I think one of the most uh, famous genre film for Thai movie is a horror, mm. like, uh, you know, Shutter, like a medium, something like that. And, and I think that uh, the horror, uh, the good thing for horror film is that, uh, you know, even though you made it uh, very local, but international audience can assess, can understand uh, the story very well. Uh, so that's why we, we, we think that horror should be something that we should try and uh, you know that uh, in Thailand there is an urban legend about uh, about uh, you know uh, Buddhist people Buddhist uh -huh. family uh -huh. when they move to the new house uh, located uh, in the Muslim community and uh, and especially when the house is built on the land which, which used to be a uh, Muslim graveyard before. Uh, there is a, a famous story about, you know, this. Uh, I mean that a lot of Buddhist family, they experience the supernatural event at night, something like that. So that's why I, I heard a lot of things. Uh, uh, I heard about that uh, story for many years. And I think that I just wonder why no one picked this kind of the story to make a, a movie. Uh -huh. So uh, that's why we think that we should try something like this. and and. and, and we start from here that we, we want to make a haunted house about the, uh, the, 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 the non-Muslim family moved into the new house and they experience something strange. So we start from here and then we, we try to come up with the, the, the story. Uh -huh, okay. But, uh, tell me a bit about this historical background between Thai and Malaysia. It's also kind of included in the film. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, actually, uh, uh, in the... In, in Thailand, this, this, this history is quite controversial and very sensitive for mm -hmm. the, for the, the, the uh, Thai government, even, even nowadays. Uh, the story takes place, I mean, that this is a real story, it takes place in, uh, uh, you know, two, uh, 200 years ago, uh, when uh, Thailand, at that time we call Thailand Siam, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, it in, invade uh, uh, the southernmost uh, uh, independent state, which uh, most of uh, the people there are Malay and uh, they are Muslim. So uh, the Siamese conquer uh, those states and they occupy those uh, territories. And then they brought some uh, uh, yeah, Malay slaves uh, back to uh, Bangkok because uh, uh, you know 200 years ago Bangkok was just found 
Bangkok, which is a sub capital of Thailand, was just found, uh -huh. and they need uh, the foreign slave and including the local slave to to build the city. Uh -huh. So, and and one of the mission is to to build the canal, to dig the canal, to uh, you know to connect with. Uh, uh, neighboring country like uh, Cambodia or something like that so that's why they they brought uh, Malay slave to to work on uh, you know uh, digging the, the 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 canal and uh, then uh, where, wherever the Muslim slave uh, were brought to uh, they would uh, you know set up that the community especially the set in the film which is Nong Chok is in the outskirt of Bangkok uh, most of uh, I mean that the, the, the major population is, is Muslim because uh, some of the their ancestor they, they are from the south and then uh, they stay there and uh, I think it's because that the, the, the king of Siam when they realized that uh, these people they, they they help building the country so so uh, they uh, the government reward them by giving them the land so they they can set up their family they can set up the the community mm -hmm. so this is the the, 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 the brief history about uh, uh -huh. yeah. okay okay yeah and, and tell me a bit, a bit what is this connection that's always happened between horror and religion why is it so easy to, to change religion into something yeah, horrific yeah, let's yeah, say. yeah I think I think that is it, 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 it's very interesting because uh, you know that the reason that we decided to to make the first land is because uh, before that uh, there was no Thai horror film deal with the Islamic uh, mm -hmm. issue, uh, and 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 as you know that most of Thai film it deal with the Buddhist uh, belief, right? Something like that. So that's why we think that we would like to challenge the market because uh, you know uh, a lot of some of uh, Indonesian horror perform quite okay not that good but perform quite well in in, in 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 thailand so that's why i think that why don't we make our own uh islamic thai horror thai islamic horror film so that's why we think that uh, yeah we should try and uh and 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 then i think uh uh for a lot of muslim even though you know that uh if they are very religious uh, you know a horror or you know something like uh, you know any supernatural thing are forbidden according uh -huh. to the Quran mm -hmm. but in Thailand I think it's uh, it's quite interesting because uh, you know the land before uh, Buddhist or Islamic uh, uh, was introduced or uh, were introduced uh, you know many of them believe in ghosts many of them believe in uh, uh, supernatural thing so when islamic what when, when when islam was introduced to thailand so it's blend with the local belief so that's why you know i think that is very interesting that uh, you know we we should make a islamic horror which uh show something which uh, you know a lot of people know about it but they they don't want to talk about it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay okay and uh, tell me a bit about uh, the casting. You have Jenny Soprasen, who was, uh, I remember her, that she was an idol before. So I don't know, how did you cast her, let's say? Was it easy, difficult? Yeah, yeah. actually, uh, the role of me, when we wrote the script, when we start writing the script, we thought of her as, uh, because you know that uh, we like her personality. Even though she was, uh, she used to be a very famous uh, pop singer, mm -hmm. but if you look at her face, it, in my opinion, she, she looked uh, sad all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and she looked very calm, and uh, so that's why we 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 approach her and we, we 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 try to ask her for more information, like uh, you know what type of uh, music she like, and what she answered us is very interesting because uh, we believe that uh, before that we we thought that you know she might be like a normal girl she like a pop music or something like that but she told us that uh, you know she you know her favorite band is uh, you know indies uh, indie band uh -huh. or you know rock band uh -huh. so that's why we we think that yeah she fit for the role uh, of may because uh, we we want may to be uh, a girl which is uh, you know which is not 
like other girls. I mean, at her age, like you know, she she's uh, more mature. She has something in her mind, but uh, doesn't want to reveal to anyone. So, so that's why uh, uh, Janice is our first choice, and, and and I think that we made the right decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the kid, how about the for the father? Yeah, the father. Uh, yeah, Ananda. Uh, uh, you know, he's he's not our. Uh, right choice because you know we we thought of someone, but uh, and uh, of course I mean Ananda, you know he appear in in every film, and uh, in my opinion I think that he's good actor, but uh, yeah his his role in many movie are more or less the same. So that's why we think that uh, okay, if we want him, we we, we want to know if uh, if he can change his character. And and I think it will be good because uh, he's he's well known internationally. It it might be good for the international sales. So when we approach him, him, and we send him the script, he like it. He he said that he liked the script. He, the script is very interesting. So we asked if he could change his character because uh, you know, in many films he he will he, he would play a martial guy or he would play a, a perfect guy. But for this uh, movie. Uh, his character is is very fragile, very soft, very weak. Uh, can you accept that? And he immediately uh, get back to us, and he said that he he want to try because you know that is is quite challenging for him. So when he is okay with it, so we we stop searching for another actor. We we decided to 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 work with him. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know what about Bron Spalara, who's a friend of mine, actually. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah Bron is, uh, you know, when, okay, when, when we start uh, creating the script and uh, when we, uh, when, when we create the him character, he's the only one. And you know that I and Gong said that, you know, if we could not get Bron, uh, maybe we might not develop the story because uh, we, we we think that uh, because I, I, if you know him uh, if you know Bron uh, well you will know that his his real character and his uh, his uh, him character are more or less the same uh -huh. because when we 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 write about we, we wrote about his his uh, character we, uh, you know that we, we watch many films he play, and we try to to add something in a different film to be uh, uh, this character. So, and after that we we call him, and uh, Kong, my friend, know that he could speak Thai. I I did not know about that because mm -hmm. uh, you know I watch all his films. He he speak all Malay, and then when we had a Zoom meeting and he speak Thai to me, I, I was very surprised because it's very fluent and is very well so the only problem for for Bron is he can speak Thai perfectly but he cannot read and he cannot write so that's why he told us how do we work because uh, you know uh, I, he cannot speak Thai at all so that's why I told him that no worries because uh, we, we will translate into English I uh, know no, we, we, we would do the karaoke uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, language and then and then we will ask someone to 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 speak on the the recorder, and then send to him. And he said that okay, fine. And, okay. and that is why he uh, become the part of the film. Okay. And, and tell me a bit about the house, the location in general. Where is those crazy things happening? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So so the house uh, is located in the Ayutthaya. Uh -huh. uh, it's another province in the central of uh, Thailand. And uh, we went to that we, before uh, uh, deciding to, 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 to select that house. We went to many places and uh, we found that it uh, is very difficult. And, 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 and uh, the good thing for this house is, uh, you know, it's located near the river, which, you know, that uh, the location of the film, I, I mean, that the location, uh, the set, the, the location in the, in the script. Uh, we, we need the, the canal or river uh, behind the house so this pit this uh, this outfit for our script so that's why we, we decided to to uh, 
to talk to the owner, and then the owner said that okay, fine, uh, you can rent the house. But uh, I can tell you one thing that uh, even though uh, we choose the, the that house, but we could not shoot inside the house because it's very uh, you know old and it's unstable. Unstable. So uh, that's why we decided to build the set. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So and and and, and uh, add some uh, CG to make it look very similar yeah mm -hmm. so okay and since you mentioned cg tell me a bit about the visual aspect of the film is a cinematographer in cg and how that, that did that work yeah yeah i think i think the good thing for this movie is that uh, the the cinematographer who worked for us he had uh, uh, experience he worked with pen egg before uh -huh. he shot all uh, pen eggs movie except the last life in the universe or uh, uh, the, the film which Pen Egg worked with Christopher Doy, but the rest of Pen Egg's film was uh, were shot by him, and uh, we want to work with him for for a long time. And then, and then uh, he said that okay, he he liked the script because he never worked with any people, so we would, he decided to work with us. So yeah, he, he helped us a lot in terms of uh, 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 working on the frame or something like that. And for CG, we work with uh, Fat Cat, and as you know, that Fat Cat uh, they produce a lot of uh, monster film, mm -hmm. and and so that's why uh, uh, we we trust them, and we think that they they will help us create a lot of things. But we have to tell them that uh, from the beginning that we don't want it to be a CG movie. Mm -hmm. We want it to be okay. Of course, uh, the gene or anything can can be. Uh, uh, CG, but we, we, we want to, to make it m more realistic. So it's quite challenging for them because uh, Fat Cat, when they work with other people, they, you know, a lot of uh, producers, they require them to create, uh, you know, mm -hmm. the, the CG monster or, or CG demon. For, but for this one, they have to tone down everything. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> now that you mentioned the gene, and I was thinking about that when I was watching the movie, do you believe in the the supernatural, the gene, and the oh, ghosts, and the dead I, coming out. Uh, actually, I, <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm, I'm not like that. I mean, I mean that. Okay, I'm a Muslim, but I was, yeah. But I, I believe that the uh, God gene uh, is the creation uh, of God. I mean, the God created gene. Gene is something like uh, one of the, the 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 species that uh, God created. So I just believe on that. But I. I mean that I, uh, I think it's because I have never experienced something like that. So I just want I, I just ima imagine that you know uh, there was a th there is a gin in the house, but but in real life I have never experienced something like that. So so when you ask if I believe in that uh, half half, I mean okay. half of it is because that I'm Muslim, but uh, another half is uh, uh, yeah I. I I still don't believe okay. in, in, in the supernatural thing. Okay. How, how is the situation with the Thai movie industry at the moment? How would you describe it? I think it's, uh, it's quite interesting movement because, uh, you know, last year, uh, before uh, September, the situation was very bad because uh, none of uh, uh, Thai film except this one, uh, Home for Re uh, Kun Pan, Kun Pan, mm -hmm. Kun Pan 3, the action film by Sa Mong Ko. Uh, none of them performed very, very well, and the box office was very pathetic. Uh, a lot of them uh, made only uh, less than 100,000 US dollars, which is very disaster for the Thai film. But the turning point happened starting from uh, end of September. Uh, there is an, uh, this horror film, it's an Islamic horror film. It's called The Curse of Jin. It performed very well. Uh, the box office, if I'm not wrong, is around 2 million US dollars. And uh, people were very excited because no one believed that that movie would perform well. And uh, yeah, and after that, another movie uh, is called The Undertaker. This one, uh, this one made an extremely huge box office. It's around uh, almost uh, 25 million US dollars. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah. 
around 800 million baht. Yeah, very huge. And uh, it's, it's, it's a horror film, but uh, it has some uh, element which, uh, you know, people talk about it and it became a talk of the town. So, and, and it's very popular in the northeastern area because uh, the, the, the film was made by the northeastern uh, director and they speak different from, from the, the, the central dialect. Uh -huh. And then it was very pop so popular that uh, you know people in Bangkok talk about it. So that's why when people talk, talk about it, they went to see it and they love it. So that's why the film become became phenomenon. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, that one made uh, 25 million US dollars. And uh, the third one, as you know, I think you know this one is called Tiyot. Uh -huh. It's another horror film uh, by the. Uh, Tero and uh, this one was uh, popular also and the box office was around 5 million US uh, 5 million uh, 500 million baht or it's around uh, 17 million US dollars so it means that three Thai horror film uh, perform extre extremely well uh, in the in the last uh, 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 three months of, of, of that year, so now people have hope uh, in Thai movie, especially the Thai audience. So that's why we think that uh, that might uh, that might give us uh, uh, the as uh, a filmmaker as a hope also that you know it will continue. Then tell me a bit about future projects. What are you working on? And maybe tell me a bit about your company or the company also. What's going on there? Okay, so uh, my company, uh, Neramit Nang Film, uh, we are uh, the newcomer for the Thai film industry because uh, our company was found in 2021 and uh, our first film is called uh, uh, Four Kings. It did extremely well. I mean that as a newcomer with uh, this, uh, you know. Well, she's, she's dancing like crazy behind you, know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, she stopped now, but she was like this, that's why I'm done. <laughs> okay, so please continue. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, our first movie, Four King, did very well. So that's why uh, we decided to to uh, invest uh, in uh, more projects. And uh, and uh, the first four titles fell at the box office after Four King, uh, especially the monster movie like Lyo, The 100, and... Uh, yeah, uh, the world, uh, the world of killing people. Uh, most all of them fail at the box office, but but uh, it did quite okay for the international market. So that's why, even though the the local market did not perform, uh, do not perform well, but for the international, we we are happy. So that's why we continue to to make more film, and uh, and we think that uh, you know a lot of people ask about the character of my company because when you talk about GDH. Uh -huh. Yeah, they have their own characters like uh, you know love story or horror, but but we don't have a character. So that's why we think that uh, uh, why don't we just uh, label ourselves as a studio who brought uh, who bring the diversity to the side Thai cinema. So that's why we we do not stick to any uh, or specific genre, but but we try to give the opportunity to the the, the filmmaker. So that's why last year we. We invest. We produce uh, various kind of film, like uh, you know, Doy Boy is uh, is a drama. It's uh, a semi art house uh, drama movie, yeah. and it did okay because uh, it was sold to Netflix, yeah. straight to Netflix. And we also produce uh, a sci-fi time travel sci-fi by the director of Love of Siam. Uh -huh. So the film is now uh, in post production. And the good thing is that uh, we show it to Warner Brothers and uh, oh. they, they love the concept and they love the, the promo. So that's why they decided to, to, to distribute the film for Thailand. Oh, okay, that's yeah. good. And then uh, Curse Land, because we know that we want to make a horror film. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and even we also produced, uh, you know, the the genre movie like uh, there will be zombie something like uh, you know a zombie movie so that's why we think that uh, you know diversity will bring something 
uh, exciting to the local audience and uh, the international distributors. So that's why we, we think that uh, we want to continue our mission to produce uh, 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 various kind of film. Okay, good. I guess that's it. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.